I've drained my weekend. Is this and then my eyes were cloudy, were watery, and then my headache. I say having headaches, and then this person is doing like who took them? Like, where is this like coming from? Life screenshots, see screenshots, of high school of gossip, na na na, screenshots of surviving, living alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bethesda Chronicles. This is the <laughs> Bethesda Chronicles. Let's talk about it. But before we do, <clears throat> hi, my name is Kemto, and today we're gonna be doing a hair install. And this is the hair details down below. So yeah, so hurry up! Don't miss the big discount. Use my code KB30 to save thirty dollars off the hair info is 100 percent undetectable hd lace 4x4 closure body wave wig 18 inches the direct link to shop for the same hair in this video click down below link will be on the description down below the video description just scroll down below and you'll see the closure wig and it's silky hair in texture it's 200 percent it's 250 percent density the lace is hd invisible lace but next time i'm gonna order this difference you can order transparent or brown lace for my girlies who don't like to do lots like me you can use brown lace so this is the this is why i'm saying it's wear and go glueless wig as long as you just cut the lace it's wear and go you don't need the glueless uh, bond and this is grade 13a color is natural color black it's 100 percent virgin human hair without chemical process you can dye this hair still this hair will last you for 12 months it's a hand tied human wig it's suitable for all dyeing colors wig size is 21.5 to 22 inches shipment my girlies who always ask me how do you ship things you use dhl like there's a shipping when you go and pay on the link down below you'll see so dhl it will take two to five days if it's fedex it will take three to five days hey guys several days late <laughs> actually two days later i have to do this wig install <laughs> because like my life like adulting and living alone has really taught me anyway we're gonna install this so yes we're gonna install this week <sighs> it's a glueless week but on a plug like the no actually I don't need to plug anything but when I install the, let me see, let me see, okay. I want to have it with glue. And we're going to be talking like life update, <laughs> getting a little bit like more vulnerable with you guys, but not like exposing. Express. I need to like side parts are really good with with my face shape. Yes, likable wig god. I feel like I wanted I wanted to start this video with like installing it with a glue, but I feel there's no need. Like it's so it's a glueless wig. I just wanna do my makeup then. I'm exhausted guys. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. We're gonna be doing like a story time also. So I think like this week should go like this. We're gonna be like chatting up, like uh, tell you what's been up with me, what's on my mind and things like that. Am I right? Am I right? Like do her hair and then Mm -hmm. this thing is to be so guys let me tell you something it's monday today and it's really early in the morning i woke up i woke up at 
seven today. And if you know Kemto, Kemto is not a morning person. But some people are worth it waking up for. And I don't mean a job. <laughs> I'm even saying. So, yeah, this is Baby Bliss. I want to cut this part. I, I don't even have the products to do this. Next time, I just want to go to the salon. I remember the way Joyce used to just do my hair at the salon and customize my wigs. I need to get someone else. Because sadly, Joyce passed away, my hairstylist. So, let me tell you like, today's Monday. Okay, this is why I don't do story time because I don't think I'm good at it. But we're just gonna do it. We're gonna hack it. So yeah. What was I saying? So like I have new neighbors. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. So I have new neighbors and this new neighbors, they're Nigerians. You know, I've heard a lot about Nigerians, like Nigerian neighbors in Kenya. I'm not going to, like, say. I'm just going to tell you my experience. <laughs> People, I've heard, like, very absurd things about Nigerians. Especially when... <laughs> like, landlords don't prefer Nigerian tenants for a reason. Because they are messy and... They tend to be like Yahoo boys, especially the ones who are in Kenya. Anyway, let me stop generalizing or stereotyping. Let me tell you my experience. So, they are Nigerian neighbors. They are loud as F. <laughs> and then the first week they moved, like the first week of them being my neighbors. So, you know, in my apartment building, we are not supposed to we're not supposed to do what we're not supposed to put anything trash anything even shoes outside like it's very clear like it's annoying but you get used to it and then you, you know why i'm trying to hit this part up and you know i need a hot comb beauty is so expensive guys it is so expensive anyway I need a hot comb so that I can like lay this part flat, flat like a thing flat. Anyway, so you know, um, the first week of them hacking you guys here. Yeah. You have to bear with me with these story times. So the first week they were here, they I've told you like that's a rule, like that's a given rule. And it's stated. It's annoying, but when you come to think of it, it's actually really good because some people are messy, so it's good to have rules. We have like a trash house where you take your, your, they give us trash bags and then you can take your trash to the trash house. So you're not allowed to have like, you're not allowed to have like anything outside, let alone trash. So this is the first week the Nigerians. This is how I knew like they were, they were Nigerian. Okay, anyway, my neighbors. So my neighbors, they the first week they put their trash instead of putting their trash. You can try and I I don't even think that they are renting. The, I think they are Airbnb. Now I see why landlords don't want Airbnbs. I'm actually Airbnb is gonna be like. So I'm gonna be like, I'm thankful I started the Airbnb when, when it was not so many people knew the business here now. But now every Kenyan, every Nairobian is an Airbnb host. That thing is gonna die if it hasn't already been dead. But now I know why landlords don't like Airbnbs in their Air, Airbnbs. <laughs> like they they. <sighs> Like, if you are found, like, having an Airbnb, you know Kenyans, they'll find a way to how to finance, fin finish, finance it. Ah, what am I saying? Anyway, 
So that Airbnb, I feel like they are Airbnb actually. So this, what are they saying? So the first week they put the trash instead of putting their trash. Okay, if they didn't know any better, do do jawal kwato and tafuta or they just messy people anyway, like my neighbors. The first time they put the trash, apo. Oh my god, these stories are actually better when I talk them in Swahili because I can express myself better. Anyway, I know it's not only Kenyans who are watching me, so okay. So the first time <laughs> how do people do this? Okay. So the first time they put the trash, instead of even putting the trash in front of their of their door, they put the trash like literally on my door, like in my door. Any water? I'm trying this new style, I saw. Wait, wait, wait. So they put it in front of my door and I think there was a cat or something so it's the cat had like spilled everything in the trash bag so my door my front door I went I, I think I, w I went outside to, to the grocery store so I'm coming back this trash on my door like I try and knock on their door because they were obviously in with the loud music you could tell there was someone in right so I knock on their door one, I knock on their door two, second, third, like to tell them to just being a good neighbor, trying to inform them that you cannot like you put trash in front of me. you put trash. You guys have put trash in front of my door. And actually it's not even allowed to put trash. Like I was trying to like guide them, give them the codes, like if they in case they didn't know. You can put trash in front, like outside. So I knock. There was loud music. There were people inside. So I knock once. Nobody responded. They actually like uh, lowered the music. I knock twice. I knock that that time. Now I'm pissed. I do know I'm an introvert and I don't like confrontations, but I know my boundaries. Like you cannot step on my boundaries just because I'm shy. I'm an introvert. You cannot step on me and think for me to not like protect my peace. Like if you're bothering me, I will let you know. That's the thing about introverts. Just because we are shy, we cannot like bring conversation with strangers or people. People we know how to set boundaries okay of course me so <clears throat> what was i saying so they don't open the door they're not opening like the door so <clears throat> guess what i did guess what kemuto did can you guess what kemuto did <laughs> comment down below I, I think you guys know me already by now. I feel like you guys know know the, what I will do because I feel most of you are like me. Have you guessed already? <laughs> hey, guess what Kemuto did? Guess what your Kemuto did? I opened my door. I was filming now. I opened my door. When opening my door, oh shit, 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 shit. When opening my, oh shit, shit, shit. Wait, 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 no. I open my, like, my, my door. This week is a body wave. I'm gonna give the details of the week. I think at the beginning and also link will be on the description box. <sighs> So this is what I did. I opened my door. It gets me. I need to... Okay. So I opened my door. When I opened my door, I took my broom. <laughs> 
I took my broom and my dustbin and swipe back all the trash in front of their door and I was like if they knock on my door I'm not gonna open and I'm gonna take it to the management and also before oh before I sw swipe it I took pictures yeah because it's a virtual world you need evidence and screenshots see this screenshot now has in a and it happens like legit uh, life life screenshots see screenshots of high school of gossip na 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 screenshots of surviving living alone <laughs> Because you know people are being like don't like confront people because you don't know what people are going through I've just seen Somewhere like where a neighbor went to Like tell the other neighbor to keep quiet like they're loud and they They ended up dead. So I don't want to end up dead So I was like I swap I swipe all the trash back to them and took pictures and I didn't say anything okay fast forward that's like maybe three weeks ago so what am I doing here <laughs> I'm doing here. Uh, yes <laughs> I'm okay I know I've messed that up. Anyway, so this is like the trash incident is like maybe three weeks ago. So, oh, oh I forgot to use this heat protectant spray. Heat protectant spray. Oh, shit. Who's calling me? My sister. Hello. Hey, Melala, mambo. Po ani mamka. This is what, like yesterday, I have like, I'm in cloud nine, like, because you know I don't do those illegal. <laughs> I don't know if it's illegal, but marijuana bangi, they are smoking bangi from all all through the weekend. They were doing, and they were like, I think this person is like highly addicted because they were smoking. Like, I could hear like a smoke, like an aroma, like citrus like feeling, and then it was st it was stinging my nostrils. Like, so I was like, What is this? And then my eyes were cloudy, were watery, and then. My headache, I say having headaches, and then this person is doing like I think they open their window. So I was like, where is this like coming from? Because my window is closed. <laughs> this is Bed Sitter Chronicles. This is the <laughs> Bed Sitter Chronicles Kabisa. So <laughs> So I was like, I could hear that they open the window first and then uh, the smells come. So when I hear the window, it's from the, my Nigerian neighbors. You guys know how bed sitters are. Like, you're all into each other's spaces, like, somehow. But it's like a studio. So I was like, they were smoking, like, early eight in the morning, like, really early in the morning, and then at two, and then at four, five, and then eight, ten. Like, and it was really, it's really, it's a really strong smoke because... Why is it even reaching here? Because my window is not even open. <sighs> so I'm like, what am I what am I supposed to do? I said, okay, maybe it's once. Because they've I think they've lived here for a month now. Wait. <sighs> How am I going to do this? So I need to take this. Shit. Oh shit. Cause in any choma. <sighs> I give up. I give up completely because I wanted it to stay. None is calls. Kwataka, nizingi shivi. Nizi, nizi, then nizi tina apa. Wait, it's not hard. Shit, it's so hard. Hi. 
anyway we'll see what the results is so i was like what am i what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do guys because it's affecting my health i don't like do my i don't do like like this thing is literally you know guys why i moved like from my first like because it's my second i'm after living alone like in 2021 is it 2021 yeah, in 2021. Then I moved from that studio to this other, this that I am now because of smell pollution. Now I still smell pollution, even worse is illegal. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to Because even those mosquito, I may be wrong, maybe it's a mosquito, some form of mosquito or whatever. But I had to report, like, I have no choice because they've been doing it the whole weekend. They've drained my weekend. I think even that's why I'm up early. You've had my sister, I'm never up early unless it's uh, like someone's facial. My partner waking me up that I don't mind, but I can't be bothered to wake up early in the morning so what what was thing so i had no i had no choice but to to talk to management and see what they can do about it because it's really affecting me i it's like i'm secondary inhaling which is even worse than first like they're trying to like people are saying <laughs> and then did they tell you about the smell the food they make the smell that comes from that <laughs> Bedsita Chronicles. And then another thing. I the Airbnbs that are here, they are really destroying the like the the climate of our like building block. Because now you guys saw I did a haul at own haul my, my friend Judy but went to Rwanda gifted me some items, some clothing, some fashionable clothing items. Can you imagine I was so excited when I came back from Rwanda and when I came back from Rwanda and I washed like I I washed my clothes like and went upstairs like I unpacked that's my first time unpacking unpacking from a trip the first week like the first three days from the trip I washed my clothes I went there I don't know I was coming back to an Kuzitokwa Kamba my two piece items are missing. Missing, completely missing. Who took them? There's CCTV everywhere. So, of course, I reported to management. We look through the files. I see exactly who, who stole my who stole my items. But it, they, the lady is not is not like a tenant here. Is She's an like I think an Airbnb or because the caretaker management said like they uh, she's not a regular here. So my piece of clothing, set of clothing, gone. I didn't even get to wear it. I only tried it on the on the video. I didn't even get to wear it out and about. I'm so mad about that. <sighs> I let another incident happen. So you guys know I have a washing machine. So the washing machine, uh, like I, when you have a washing machine, it completely like rinse your clothing. So when you're going to the to line your clothes, no droplets, any in a magi in short. So to do a tum to a washing machine, I'm to I didn't think it was something <laughs> it was something to notice until like this incident happened so i'm uh, upstairs this happened like two weeks ago so i'm upstairs learning my clothes like minding my business and then this couple come on the rooftop this lady is so like the man is the one who lives like in this building the lady, I think she's like visiting. She's like, oh my God, you guys were on the rooftop. We all line our clothes on the rooftop. She's like, oh my God, you guys have a really nice. And then we have a swimming pool on the rooftop. Oh my God, you you know, you've made a mistake. I think it was 
her first time sleeping over at the guy's place. You guys have made a you guy you guy you've made a mistake. They're talking in Swahili. You guys have made a mistake. This is where I'm gonna be becoming like ume ume jaribia sana apa nuna kujanga. Eni mkona swimo. Rufto meni kona chill spot. Wow. Mi apa nuna kujanga. Kwa zafanya kwe tutu ni apa. Home ni apa tu hivi. Na kwa mbea tu. Tema ata siku ambeti ni na kupigia nini. Because in our building lazima you use fingerprint to enter the gate. The security are there but for decoration purposes. You have to have fingerprints. No security will let you in. Even if you have a guest, you have to go down and pick your guest, which I feel like it's a good security measure, you know, because many strange things have happened in this building. So many things. <laughs> and it's because of illegal substance abuse. One day I'm going to come here and share those stories. So, uh, so yeah, so it's like, I'm going to be on the, on the gate just calling you hi i mean the i mean the guy can pick me up like he she was talking talking and then instead of going like because there were so many like line of hanging your clothes you know she had to come where i was like i i apply pressure to these girls i am i think i lose confidence i am that girl like even without trying because even now, when I'm talking, like when I'm go to learn the clothes, I was just wearing a dira, like a dera. I don't know how you say it, like, and my cornrows. So she, she had to see, like, who, who what, what, chick, what a competition or what chicks reside in these, like, buildings. So there were so many lines. I'm telling you, there were so many lines of where to hang the clothes, but she had to hang where where i was like this is one line i was like this line i was lining my clothes this line and then she just came happen and then she was like sizing me up like sizing me up and down and blabbering like, like that girl can talk and then she's like hmm. when she saw like my clothes because nowadays me nangaleanga like i see like kitambo nilikuanga ah no pressure it will not affect me but now i know how to apply pressure to you're side eyeing me like this, I side eye you like that, you know. And he, her guy <laughs> brings different chicks every single like weekend. These different chicks with her. so she uh, okay, let's not go get there. So I think she noticed I'm lining my clothes and there's no water dripping. So she was like, so she was washing the clothes that maybe she, she was wearing the shirt for the guy. And then she like washed the clothes that, that maybe she wore, she had previously. So she was like, let me wash these clothes. I hope they dry. You know, uh, I'll be coming here and picking up your clothes and take them. Because at home we have like a washing machine. They will dry faster. So I can pick up your clothes and go out. Like, tell me if it's making sense. Like, pick up the clothes to your... Um, not even someone is there, but... <laughs> I'm being messy. Anyway, she got, like, pressure that I was using a washing machine and she had to let me know because she was talking really loud and side-eyeing me all the time that she, she has a washing machine at home. It's just that this guy doesn't have a washing machine. Anyway, if she didn't have... Uh, anyway, uh, that's a long story. So many things have happened in this, like, building, like, life update. I just feel like I, I love... Oh, another thing. You see, like, I have this nice view, but I didn't know it comes with, like, not mosquito. Our building doesn't have mosquito. But they, this... Because we live in a rural, where I live is in Nairobi outskirts, like that, 30, 30 if you're going by public transportation, 20 by maybe Uba or Pasunaka to Nairobi CBD. So that's, that's outskirts of Nairobi. So it's a village, it's a little Kikuyu village. <laughs> it's a little Kikuyu village. So there's like uh, flies, you know those uh, flies that when it rains or if it's in a bush or in a forest. So there's a forest. So I didn't know this view comes with insects. And if you know me, I hate small insects. I love big like dogs, cats. I like those. Cows, I like those. I don't like 
crawling insects, flying insects, small, small, like they're not giving you space. I hate those. So I was like, oh my God, finally I've come here. No, like I can open my window, fresh air, like no pe peeping, like no peeping neighbors because it's like when you open the window, it's just trees and somewhere like a forest. So every time I open the window, and it's not even when it's raining. When it's raining, it's worse. It hasn't been raining in Nairobi for quite some time, right? So there should be no insects. No. I didn't know the forest comes with insects. So every time I have no like pre like I have no pleasure enjoying my fresh air. And it's just that only one window. So I look for because me I don't like complaining i look for solutions and if there's no solutions i adopt so when i cook i have to open like my door or i don't know anyway so i look on solutions online then i tell my sister my sister tells me like there's this like um nets like like there are mosquito ants like any animals dust nets that are magnetic so this is a good solution, right? Uh, meaning like, I don't know, like if I have time, I'll post it here. So there is a net. So I contact these people online to ask them. I tell them measurements. I tell them the window size. I thought it's going to be like, if it's more expensive, because you know how these online people like to kunyonya watu pesa. Maybe it will be 1,500 Kenyan shillings now. This guy quotes me 3,000 Kenyan shillings. 3,000 Kenya shillings. I was like, no way. No way am I paying 3,000. Like, my electricity bill on a window because of a mere inconveniences. I'm going to just deal with the insects. Now, hassle the insects. Does if Kuzanga too? Because uh, when I open the window, it's only like at six, that's when the insects wants to come in. So I'm going to deal with it. Hey. But tell me why. Why there is like the weather is hot in Nairobi. Like I don't know. Like there was a heat wave. Heat wave past weeks below. So now I have no choice but to etikia kugongwa na installing the internet. Anyway guys, watch this video. Join my membership channel. Subscribe. All the week details of this week will be down on the description down below if i have a code i'll put it here and yeah i'll uh, you always know i'll always tell you how the week is going on it's 20 inches body wave from a cable wig so yeah let's see let's see if this curls up <laughs> what what Oh no, I don't know. What's this? I'm gonna customize this wig. I think I'm gonna go to the and customize it, like have them pluck these things over. Yeah. But this is how the curls have popped. So that's my private life. <laughs> I'm very awkward nowadays to share my, my stories because I don't know. Wow. You see where I was trying to go? So. Oh, shit. Wow, this one is good. This one is a tear a double. Anyway, I'm gonna keep you updated on my Instagram how these styles goes over time this part is bothering me anyway that's it oh another good thing is um this week we are going to this week i have to go to the village for a function so i will bring you guys along and yeah follow me everywhere Thank you, like about week for sending me this wig to me. I like it. Okay, bye. Bye.